uh, why did you gravitate towards the arm drag? Why, in your career, why did you start using the arm drag? Well, it's just because like I saw so many people doing wrestling and people who was doing the transition for the no gi, and I was never like a great to double leg, but the arm drag that was something that was similar to the game that I was doing with the gi. Like with the gi, I have like a similar grip. I started with this, so the arm drag came like almost like natural to do this. The same thing that I used to do with this, I started doing it with that. So on my transition to do no gi, so it was the closest move to my game, you know, that I could find. I'm glad later I figured out like uh, how to do like double leg stuff like that. But in the beginning, that was the closest thing that I could figure out. Maybe walking from gi to the no gi. So I realized like, oh, I kind of do that arm drag with the gi. So that's how I use that in the no gi. Awesome. But now is the real arm drag that people use in the rest. But definitely, like, I don't, maybe I don't do the real one, but I do the one that get, get you to the people's back. And you just figured this out on your own? You... Uh, pretty much. I still remember the first time that, like, uh, the coach, or my coach, showed me the arm drag position, like wrestling technique. That was the first time that I just heard about wrestling, and he just showed, like, uh, the arm drag. And then I kind of, like, all right, let me practice, and from the same time, like, uh, I was I was doing grad school and practice from the grad school and I'm glad that things got together from the back control to the arm drag and from the uh, arm drag to the back control. Wait, when when in career in your career was this? Were you like blue belt, purple belt? What? I remember it was like a some kind of like a purple to brown, you know what I mean? Mm. That I started to kind of try the arm drag, but not in that time I was successful. But then, in the brown belt to black belt, that's when I really start training no gi. That's when that move is actually really like, a, all right, I, I remember that move that I learned in that time, so let me try to use this more now. You know? And over time, you just developed all these options. Yeah, just like with a lot of training, you start to put yourself in so many situations that you have to figure out what to do from that. You know? Especially sometimes, like, uh, you know, your coach is supposed to help, you, but he's not 100% on top of your mind so your mind got to be like I was walking so a lot of those details just came together because so much strain you know that's what I I, I believe in. Phenomenal.